In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up full screen color ID on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus. So this is what it looks like. Now first go back to your home screen and what we want to do is to uh, go to Play Store and uh, find an app. So I'm going to uh, go to the app screen, then I'm going to go and type in Play Store and then tap on Play Store to open the uh, Play Store to uh, install an app. In here you want to tap on the search text box and type in full screen color ID. And you notice there's quite a lot of uh, options that you can choose. Choose the one that you like. Uh, the one that I install might not be the exact one that you like. Uh, this is just an example. So I'm going to choose this one here and tap on the install button. Once it has uh, finished install, you can open. Okay, now tap on the open button. And once the app is open, we need to uh, initially set up uh, the app. So I'm going to activate button sweep text and I'm going to, so this is, um, I'm going to tap on the reverse button as well. So I'm just going to try to go back here, open up the app. And then I'm going to tap on next button and we need to give permissions allow permission to full screen color ID to appear on top and I want to tap on the back key to go back and then tap on next then we're going to set full screen color ID as the default app and then tap on next and we're going to allow us to access uh, photos and medias tap on allow and then we're just going to I'm going to choose no thanks no thanks and that's it so now the app is uh, set up so we can now uh, test it out when you are making a call you can see the phone will show uh, full screen with the context on the background. So whatever the context picture is, it will appear on the background right here. And you can see that is um, full screen color ID. And here you can accept or answer or ignore the call. And that's it. And that's how you can set up a full screen color ID on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus. Now, if you no longer like if you no longer like uh, to use the app anymore, you can always go into the app screen and then you can uh, uninstall it. Or if you'd like to try a different app, you can also try that as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.